Hey, welcome back. So, I got this large chunk of cedar, and I had a random thought, I don't know, about two this morning, that uh, it might look cool if I made a bowl on the inside, left a little flat area, dished it out, and uh, then finished the bowl on the bottom trying to leave some of the natural edge. I'm sure all this bark will come off, but we're gonna check it out anyway. Now my brain is telling me two things. One, it's gonna look pretty cool. Two, it's gonna look like crap. In any event, that's what we're gonna to try today. And I'm gonna do it a little backwards. I think I'm gonna dish it out first. We'll get this flat, dish it out, and then and then turn the, turn the rest of the bowl and then part it off and see what happens. So, stick around. Could be could be destruction. Could be a work of art. Yeah. I'm gonna start out using the uh, that's a three quarter inch ball gouge to get it flat and maybe start dishing. Now I got to figure out just how far I want it, and I think really that's about right. So I'm gonna cut this down a little more. Um, I got some kind of gouge here, so I'm gonna cut this this down just a little more to give me a little lip on the edge. Figure out kind of how far I want this before I dish it out too much and then try to knock off some of this that uh, is keeping it way off balance. Probably should have cut this off on the bandsaw. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, <clears throat> thinking I kind of need to get past this real gnarly spot. I still have an inch down here. Which should be which should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and knock this part off. If I kind of round this off and then dart it in, leave this leave this flat here maybe. Not really do an undercut, but just kind of leave it flat and then round it off. I think that'll work, but I need to go fix this. Still more thinner though, huh? Yeah. Yep, yep.
it didn't hold true to my original original thought it kind of just ended up being a little dish at the start there was a point that I that I should have just dished it but then I just kept going kept going kept going um, it's not an ugly bull I will be putting some shiny stuff on it I guess I can do that while we check I have a few more big chunks of cedar out there so I can try again and maybe I'll hold true so I'm not disappointed it's not a failure it is a pretty bull so while we're on the subject um, you know I do videos for fun I do like the comments and questions and participation I'm trying to figure out what it is you all want to see or have questions about I've noticed that there hasn't been there's no difference if I just turn a bull with no talking or if I talk a whole lot so let me know what it is y'all want y'all like it when I talk too much like this video or if I just turn the camera on slap a piece of wood on the lathe and make a mess I do typically talk to myself while turning so I don't feel as uh, crazy when the camera's on but tell me what y'all like so I'm gonna put six seven coats of shine juice on there until it quits sucking in so much and I can get a good finish on it and then I'll show you the end result and then I'm gonna go find me another large chunk and uh, see if I can hold true to the original plan sometimes it's better Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Ah.